When I was in kindergarten, a boy in my class tossed my favorite book over our elementary school fence. I remember crying profusely, not because I was sad to see it go, but because I was so furious that he was such a bully. It was probably one of the first times I expressed my sensitivity to my peers, a roller coaster I still continue to ride each day. Many of my friends lovingly tease me about my emotional reactivity, but it's certainly not like I can control it. Some people are just more sensitive than others, and that's not always a bad thing. According to HSP researcher and psychologist Ellen Aaron, PhD, approximately one in five women and men can be classified as HSP or as a highly sensitive person. That makes it highly likely that you know and love someone with a personality trait. A human with a particularly high measure of SPS is considered to be a highly sensitive person, HSP. The terms SPS and HSP were coined in the mid-1990s by psychologist Ellen Aaron and her husband Arthur Aaron who developed the highly sensitive person scale HSPS questionnaire by which SPS is measured. Other researchers have applied various other terms to denote this responsiveness to stimuli that are seen in humans and other species. According to the Aarons and colleagues, people with high SPS make up about 15 to 20 percent of the population, although some researchers consistently related high SPS to negative outcomes. Other researchers have associated it with increased responsiveness to both positive and negative influences. Aaron and colleagues state that the high SPS personality trait is not a disorder. Are you living with HSP or you know someone who does? In this video, I'm going to share with you 13 things only highly sensitive people will understand. If you're new here, I'm sure it would benefit you so much if you subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos like this. 1. Loud noises can be overwhelming. Does the thought of an event, party, homecoming or going to a movie sound kind of terrible to you? Do you get easily overwhelmed whether a large crowd or lots of commotion? If you are a highly sensitive person, you might find loud noise like a direct path to a personal shutdown. When you attend concerts, watching a movie in theaters, even the music in your headphone can be very loud. Some people like this heavy vibrating sound, but most people do not like having their eardrums blasted. For a highly sensitive person, loud noises can feel like a full-on assault on his senses. When you have no way to control the volume and also when other people don't seem bothered by the loud noise at all, you end up feeling like the weird or difficult one. And most times, siblings are the ones who seem to know how best to hit that nerve. 2. Inadequate sleep equals hell When you wake up in the morning after a good night of sleep, do you feel great and energetic? Isn't it exactly the opposite when you don't sleep well at night? After the busy day, we all wish to have a sound sleep and rest. When sleep deprived, most people don't do well and feel tired because the body and mind don't get the energy without refreshing properly. Studies have shown HSPs need more sleep than most to function. When they don't get adequate sleep, they might feel the effects of being groggy and on the edge more than others. For a highly sensitive person, inadequate sleep equals hell because a minor irritation will feel much worse than they are. You can learn easy ways to get better sleep at night. One of the main reasons for not getting good sleep at night is recalling the incidents of the day. You can reprogram your subconscious mind before you sleep every night. 3. Frequent Emotional Exhaustion Has anyone ever told you that they appreciate your empathy? Do you feel mixed emotions about it because it also exhausts you? You might have experienced that even though you are in a pleasant mood. Seeing your family members or friends in a sad mood make you feel sad. If they are stressed with their own problems, you may feel it as your own problem and change your mood and emotions matching to them. Rather than just sensing what someone is feeling, highly sensitive people actually feel it themselves. If you are an HSP, you actually absorb and feel the emotions of others and carry the weight of their emotions in addition to your own and that often leads to emotional exhaustion. 4. Unexplained Reactions to Violence and Beauty How do you feel when watching movies with gore or listening about violence or accidents? When watching mind-disturbing scenes in the movie, you know it is fake and not real. Still, do you find it difficult to watch or hear about anything too graphic? 
When seeing violence or cruelty, most people turn away from the place because they don't want to get into trouble. Today, most people will not run away but will start capturing the incident on their smartphone. But they may not interfere and try to control the situation. But highly sensitive people absolutely hate it and it can affect them due to their heightened sense of perception. Images with such extreme graphical content can cause great emotional and psychological disturbances. 5. Analyzing every little word and gesture Do you have the tendencies to overanalyze small things? which can lead you to make a mountain out of a molehill. While talking with others, many people ignore small things, little words and gestures. Ignoring baseless comments and fake news is the best way to avoid unnecessary problems. If we start analyzing each and every little thing, we may get unexpected meanings and those results may lead to an unexpected quarrels. Highly sensitive persons are different and usually they notice and pick up very small matters, simple jokes and facial expressions. Their minds start analyzing and that gives mental stress and also may lead to unnecessary misunderstandings. Do people often feel like they have to be careful with what they say around you? Then you might want to check if you are an HSP. 6. Not socializing the way most people do Social networking with friends and groups is good for sharing problems and learning new things. Sharing problems with others helps to free up your mind. Most people like going to a party or hanging out with a group of good people. But highly sensitive people are not much interested in socializing the way most people do. They don't like to sit with groups and share jokes. This habit limits their options for socializing with good people and leading to relationship failures. As an HSP, it's usual to want to be alone. I mean, nowhere else feels as safe as your personal space. But sometimes, you need to consider the effect of your actions on others. Life is short. You only live once. So come out of your world once in a while and make beautiful memories with others. 7. Even a little pain is too much pain. Some people are mentally strong and they can handle the pain of a severe wound in their body or mind. But highly sensitive persons cannot tolerate a little pain. For highly sensitive people, even a little pain is too much pain. A small wound or sickness is a major problem and intolerable pain. This emotionally hurt their mind. Learn to make your mind calm and peaceful. 8. Relaxing can be anything but relaxing. Do you like traveling, enjoying sightseeing and exploring new destinations? Most working people and even retired persons enjoy the tour at least once in a year. On every trip, they enjoy the maximum time. But if you're a highly sensitive person, your experiences with vacations will be different. You may not move around and enjoy the places and situations but may prefer to sleep in the room when others are enjoying outside. For highly sensitive people, vacations can be anywhere but should be relaxing. 9. Getting really angry Most people get angry due to hunger when they don't get food to fulfill the desire of the stomach. It happens because of uneasiness in the body. Highly sensitive persons are more sensitive to dips, spikes and blood sugar levels than other people and hence they feel the irritation and negative feelings much more intense than others. 10. When someone raises their voice at you How do you respond when someone raises their voice at you, especially someone you care about? How do you feel when you see someone get into trouble? If you are a highly sensitive person, this will have a strong impact on you emotionally and physically. Even though the matter or person is not connected or known to you, it may touch your heart and make you cry. 11. Time pressure causes serious distress Small matters like a little late to reach a function or an appointment with your doctor may leave you feeling flustered and more stressed. You will rush and give unnecessary pressure to hurry which can cause a lot of anxiety and tension. 12. Yes when you want to say no Sometimes you know the answer is no but to make the other person happy you will say yes instead of no. You are saying yes because you are aware of other people's feelings. Being reliable is a good trait. But do you know not being able ever to say no may lead you to become a people pleaser and how it might affect your life? 10. Even positive changes have their downside. A sudden change in a routine will be challenging for everyone if you are a highly sensitive person. You'll find it very difficult to make positive changes that can be easily overwhelmed. 
Many times, people closest to you may confuse why you are so stressed out even at the times to enjoy a promotion or new success. As a highly sensitive person, you simply need more time than others to adjust to the positive or negative things because experiencing excitement and happiness at a high level can be overstimulating to you. <music>